Warning, the following video contains MLP related content. It also contains at least one or more of the following. Cursing, violence, immature jokes, funny reactions, or verbal and not safe for wear content. If you do not wish to view anything that may contain any of these, please immediately go to your previous page. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy the show. Hello everyone, PrettyMouse44 here, and I am back for another reaction! This time around, we're on episode 7 of Princess Trixie Sparkle. This is the Unlikely Alliance. Uh, a little bit of foreshadowing with that kind of title, but... Uh... I don't know who's going to be forming the alliance here. If you haven't seen the previous episodes of Princess Trixie Sparkle, please go visit Magpie's channel, or you can look at my reactions to the previous episodes, whichever you feel like doing, and watch the other six episodes at this point. So that way you can get an understanding as to what's going on here. Okay, done that now? Okay. Now, at the towards the very end of the last episode, some thing new showed up something like red or whatever and uh apparently it's male whatever it is but with the title of this episode being called the likely alliance the unlikely alliance excuse me um that makes me believe that one of two or three possibilities is going to show up one being what i think is probably going to happen and it's going to be kind of frustrating but um, Twilight being, Twilight's group working with Trixie being the Unlikely Alliance, um, as the stupid red thingy, uh, whatever the hell that is, working with Trixie, that could be the other Unlikely Alliance, but also because of the shadow fi uh, figure looking a little bit like Luna or even like Nightmare Moon, it's also maybe possible that Estelle might be, you know, working with Luna, though I don't think it would be a, a cooperation as much as a, um, you know, like a possession of sorts, like, you know, taking control of Luna or something. I don't know, but something like that is going to be happening, I think. But um, as for what, we don't know yet. So with all that, let's just go and jump in and uh, see what happens in here. About 37 minutes. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy. Alright. So here comes a little recap. Princess Luna? Princess Luna, it's us, Rarity and Fluttershy. I'm sure you remember us. There's a matter of great importance that we must speak to you right away and... Yeah, well, unfortunately what you find is not actually Luna. I'm sure I've seen the princess's shadow here. Hi. Though a shadow I may be, I assure you, I belong to no princess. It's, it's a red eyes black dragon. No, it's obviously not a dragon, but some. <laughs> oh yeah, I should also mention that at this point the, the group had just rescued Twilight. So yeah. Being a princess is also brand new. Can't wait to see what our future has in store. Don't wanna wait anymore to or don't we say I just don't know, like, th this other character is suddenly showing up like this, like, what is he gonna be throwing into the mix? Like, what if the spell that Trixie casted that did the body swap was actually a spell that was written by whoever this male, uh, character is? And by casting the spell, it summoned him. I don't know, that's my, that's my spitball on this. It, if I'm right, then holy crap, that's awesome, but I don't think I am. But, hey, it's possible. For those who have seen the future episodes, don't tell me if I'm right or not, if this episode doesn't already do so. Because I'll, I'll find out eventually. I'm only two episodes behind. Alright, then let it begin! Oh, they got out of there. I didn't think they would. My gosh, that's a lot of screaming. <laughs> Spike looks so annoyed. <laughs> or Artie, Spike. What's the matter with you? It was. Damn. And then we saw, and then big red. Ah. 
can't I, but ourselves. My gosh. We're all here. Tell us what happened. Twilight. We were being chased by... Something. By... Something. A monster. A m -m -m monster Where? I don't wow. see anything. I'm kind of surprised that Pinky would be that like? scared. What did it sound like? <laughs> well, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that this was there. <gasps> That's... Every pony for herself! Uh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Archie's ready to fight it. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, wow, you're tall. You're very tall. Wait, where'd Luna go? Gotcha. Oh, there you are. Enough! Luna. Hi. We command you leave. At once! Or what, little princess? Do not test us, demon! Demon? Is that any way to speak to- We said leave! <laughs> nah. It doesn't have to be this way, Luna. Come quietly and spare yourself the humiliation of defeat. You cannot humiliate us any more she does so not like than his you ass. already. We will not hesitate to banish you from us. Then do it. So, be it then. <laughs> Luna. Anybody want to help? <laughs> this is something I really wish I could have seen animated. I would have loved to have been able to see this little skirmish uh, animated. Y'all just left Luna behind? I mean, there really wasn't much you could do anyways, but still. It doesn't look like she's gonna last too long on her own life. AJ and already left uh stayed though. What? Is my tail touching? Oh shit. Nice! Sweet! <laughs> Rarity picked up the pinky set. Rainbow, Applejack, can you get that fallen banner there? I'll try to draw the monster over here that you two can trip it. Pinky, Spike, and Fluttershy try to get his attention away from the princess long enough for me to get to her. Rarity, keep an eye on Trixie. Don't let her get away. On it! Let's go. <laughs> She's not going Good game anywhere. plan. Well, no, she can still princess. just teleport away if Is she wanted to. You've got? I'm disappointed. You know not of the power we wield. <laughs> On the contrary, mm -hmm. I know all too well. Yield, Luna, or you will leave me no choice. Crawl back to the shadows from whence ye came. Ye will never conquer the princess of the night. <sighs> I think I'm, I think I'm right about him being what made Nightmare Moon. Huh? Raise the eye. <laughs> Oh shit. Uh oh. No, nope, 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 don't. Bad touch, bad touch. Oh shit. I'm sorry, Luna. I don't think you are. No, Princess Luna! I don't think he gave a shit about you. <laughs> Trixie. <gasps> You've been an unfaithful little pony. <laughs> <laughs> what? Me? What? Trixie, run! <sighs> you cannot escape your word, Trixie. You will be seen. Again. Oh shit! Well, like, <laughs> yeah, because of her spell, right? Was I right about her spell summoning him? It's like some kind of like contract. Uh, uh, my wing! I, I think it's broken. 
Well, it's not even your way. Where is she? Where is Princess Luna? What have you done with her, huh? <laughs> Me? I don't think she knows. Cut the act, Trixie. Tell us where she is right now or we'll... You don't think I have anything to do with that thing, do you? Well, kind it of. tried to eat me. It What's with your eyes? It's like, oh, it's, it's like purple it and blue. It's like, me. that's trippy looking. For once, I think she's right. It went right through twice if it didn't even know she was there. Uh, of course I'm right. I could have been killed. What did you ponies do? It wasn't us. Wait, Rarity and Fluttershy, where did you say he came from? Princess Luna's room. It was just waiting in there when we got there. Hmm. You think it was waiting for Luna all along? He wasn't interested in any pony else. Except Trixie. Because it has to all do right, with the Trixie, spell. Start talking. It has to I be that spell. I have no idea. Look, I know I'm not your favorite pony <laughs> at the moment, but I honestly have nothing <laughs> to wonder do with why. This beast thing. You're all going to need me alive because I'm the only one who knows how to change you back to normal. I am not going to let you lose, I mean, ponies. Leave me here to die. So you do know how to reverse this spell? Uh, of course I do. No, she doesn't. But I'll need the gem to do that. Do we have it with us? No, I hid it back in the library for safekeeping. Oh, well, that's inconvenient. The library in Ponyville? Well then, you're just gonna have to take me to Ponyville with you. How no much would I bet it's not there? Way. We cannot possibly be considering allowing her to come with us. But what about Princess Luna? I... I don't know. We need to get her back, but... The Unlikely Alliance! <laughs> um, hello? I'd like to get as far away from here as possible. Thank you very much. That thing is going to come back for me, remember? Maybe. Just let it. Like, oh my gosh, okay. it might not. We'll reverse this spell first and then go find Luna. I'll be better equipped to handle that monster with my own magic. Trixie, you can come along, but only. SR, Reasoner! <laughs> really necessary Piggy. it's not like i'm going to try and run away wow i'm not letting you ponies out of my sight while that thing is still out there thanks pinky but i don't think we'll be able to walk out of the castle like that every pony still thinks she's me mm. and seeing princess yeah. twilight in chains will only cause more trouble than it's worth that's a fair point pretend she's me you can't be serious Oh, sugar cube. Nope, can't do it. Not after everything she's done. I don't trust her. <laughs> right? I'm right here, you know. I can hear everything you're saying. It's not like I'm going to try and do anything stupid. Neither do You've I. You've already been doing stuff stupid. Do you swap bodies. Eye on her. And keep her in line. Seriously, guys? <laughs> I'm right here. They don't and care. And you got all of us to back you up. I doubt Trixie can take us on seven to one. Thank right? you, girls. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be capable of using any of Twilight's natural powers. Do we so. have to ride in coach? It's so common. Mm. Ugh, just get a move on, Trixie. Uh, excuse me, Apple Peasant. I'm supposed to be Princess Twilight, remember? It's just us now, Trixie. Give it a rest. Ouch! You don't need to push. Fine, kick her in there. Let me get this straight. You want me to what? Look after Canterlot for you while you're away? No, I just want you to stay out of trouble. Can you handle that? <laughs> <laughs> me? Trouble? Yes. We're counting on you to keep the pony safe, Discord. <laughs> we don't know if that scary monster is going to come back while we're gone. And you're the only pony who stands a chance against Wait, well, he's not a pony, but still. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, gosh, this I outfit again. the champion of the ponies. The knight in <laughs> glimmering armor. <laughs> Look at that outfit. The storm, the castle on my noble steed. <laughs> where's, your, where's your lance? And save the day. What's the... There's a celestial banana on that shield. Just, I just noticed that. Don't make me regret trusting you, Discord. 
So long, my friends. Equestria is in safe paw and claw. <laughs> Don't you think the sky could use oh, a hi. makeover? Uh, like some tech color snow. Uh, maybe some... Don't even think about it, Discord! <laughs> Figured. Pooper ponies. Tech colored snow? That probably would actually have been pretty interesting to see. Twilight, um, there's something you ought to know. Oh. What is it, Applejack? Well... Frankly, it's the reason Fluttershy and I didn't come with y'all to Canterlot in the first place. Uh, Zakor and I stumbled upon a bit of a dragon fiasco just outside Ponyville. The three smaller looking dragons were tearing the forest oh, yeah. apart. Darn near scared Fluttershy to death. Dragons? Were they my size? No, they were a bit bigger than you, Spack. I'd say about three pony legs. In Ponyville? No, no. They were still I wonder what the, the correlation forest, to them getting the angry is to everything the else. Down, they would have gotten to Ponyville lickety split. How dreadful! It was. Were they under that other dude's Save influence? Bots, right, Fluttershy? I. Well, um. <laughs> no, not exactly. We wrestled them up quick as we could and trapped them in a cave. Zakor's keeping an eye on them for us till we get back. I'm so sorry, Twy. I know the last thing you need is more problems to face, but I figured you ought to know what might be waiting for us. Ugh. Well, hopefully they're still stuck behind the well, boulder. I, for one, am not going near any locked-up dragons. Smallish or not, that's just asking for trouble. <sighs> You're riding a train with a dragon right now. She's gonna get her just desserts for doing this to you, Twy. No pony's oh, gonna please. let her off the hook this time. Did the pony say desserts? As soon as everybody gets their bodies back, just power bomb her right into the ground. Thank you. Please. The best thing I can think to do would be to get back to the library, break this spell, and then go and check on the situation in the Everfree Forest. You do that. <laughs> right. Oh, About boy. that, I don't actually know exactly how to switch us back. Yeah, I figured. She's joking, right? I already knew that. She's joking. You lied? No. No! <laughs> I just twisted the truth a little. There is a way to switch us all back. I just can't do it personally. I know some funny who can. Who? Uh, oh, yeah. As if I'll give you an answer just like that. Look. I have something you need, and you mm. have something I need. I need protection, and you need a counterspell. I'll take you to see the pony that can help you if you make me a promise first. Uh. A promise. You have to promise to let me go. When everything is over, I will walk away, and you ponies will never hear from me again. <laughs> I smell bullshit. Oh, yeah, like we haven't heard that before. Twilight, you can't even be. I know she's cool this, right? in the actual show, but in this she's, she's a not. a liar. Who knows if she's even telling the truth about this stranger pony? Can't trust her as far as you can toss her. This whole mess was. And you can toss her pretty far, place. though. You're Applejack. I'm part of this conversation, too. Oh, 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 Twilight, shut him up. Deal. What? what? Are what? you no. <laughs> But Twilight. But that's only if you make good on your promise to change us back. Yeah, sure, whatever. Just so <laughs> yeah, we're clear, yeah, you protect me. I'll lead you to the certain pony, and then you let me go free. No. Twilight, darling, please reconsider. I. Hey, Abby Pony, look! We're home! Ooh, and all of Pony has come here to greet us. All of those bright and frantic looking faces. Do you think maybe this is a welcome home party? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think they're here to party, Pinky. Looks like every pony is upset about something. Yeah, so what did we <laughs> miss? Aside, peasants. Let the true leader among us handle this. Oh my gosh. Have fun. Have fun. Hello, Ponyville. I hope they throw something at you. Princess Twilight's here, at last. We shall need your help, and fast. Since you left, things have been strange. Everything's acting 
deranged. Ponyville needs help. So what's been going on? Animals out of control. And the weather takes a toll. Who can fix oh, hey. this? Twilight can. Who can help us? Twilight will. Ponyville needs help. Yeah, Twilight's gonna do it, not the Trixie that's in Twilight's body. Since you've been gone, we can't control the weather. Though it's sunny, it was supposed to rain. Seriously? And if we cannot manage some cloud cover, only sun-dried plants will remain. Oh, so what's stopping them from doing the weather? Nope. And without all the zap apple jammer names, we might not make it through the year. So what's stopping all this stuff from happening? Because Twilight doesn't control the weather. And she doesn't control the zap apples from growing. So what's going on? Shout out to the lost narrator. I saw that. And we can't crusade around. They'll make us stay in town. Basically, it's not safe for us. And we put up such a fuss. Ponyville needs help. Seems there is something that's bothering the animals And they won't come to us when we call Many of my hmm. pets have not gone missing Without leaving a single clue at all Oh no! And the cows have refused to go on milking So we don't have ingredients we need Seriously, like, what is causing all this? Cakes and pastries, this truly is a dark time in me. Like, Twilight doesn't do all this kind of crap, so what's Fred what's Nuts, making all the millions. issues? Princess Twilight has returned, and soon everything will all be sorted out! <laughs> wow, nice to put pressure on her. She has come to save the day, you should need your help. Twilight will show us a way, since we left things hurt. She will figure out the steps, everything's left in. Hey Trixie, are you sure you want to be princess? Because I don't think you like having this responsibility. Well, hold on, one at a time. Princess Twilight's here. Well, yes, but we should need your help. And I totally get that. Since you let things I'm gonna let you finish. You have no idea. But you have no idea. Like, oh my gosh. Is anybody even listening to me? No, they're singing. <laughs> I'd never get away from those crazy ponies. They just expect me to have all the answers and fix all their petty little problems for them? Hello? I have problems too, you know, and mine just happen to be a little more urgent. You have problems? <laughs> okay, we have yeah, problems. Yeah, there you go. Happy? I still don't see why we don't just get the gem from the library first and leave the dragons for later. It's not like they're gonna go anywhere. So sorry, this is such an inconvenience for you, your highness. Honestly, I thought they were getting the gem but first. You're the one who said the gem was useless without this mysterious pony of yours. Sad, Fair I'm play. a little nervous about them dragons making trouble. Uh, Applejack? How big were those dragons again? Not, not because I'm scared or anything. I mean, I am a ferocious dragon myself. <laughs> or, well, I was. No, you weren't. Oh, you are positively nothing like a ferocious dragon, like you. <laughs> like Artie's face, and we Artie and Spike's face at the bottom, thing. like, oh gosh. Yeah, well, I haven't met another dragon yet that can get the best of me, unless it's those teeny dragons. I don't want to run into those jerks again. Well, what do you know? It's exactly no, no, who Spike. it was. These ones were a mad different looking from any other adolescent dragons I'd ever seen. Well, you weren't there. Ugh. What is with you, ponies? Do you just go around looking for giant monsters to fight? Oh, <laughs> we never have to go looking for them. Yeah, they them. come to them. They come looking for us. See? Like, there was this time with the three-headed duck Cerberus, the Hydra, the Minotaur, the Chimera. And suddenly, I'm rethinking this whole protection thing. How protective can you ponies be if you just go waltzing into the Everfree Forest looking for trouble? They don't, though. You're welcome to walk back to Ponyville without us. I should have just gone with the other Earth Pony. 
Speaking of Fluttershy, eh? do you think she made it back to her cottage okay? That's a pretty safe bet. Did you see how fast she took off when you told her she could go check on her animals? Priceless! And that's without wings, too! Speaking of wings, mine is really hurting. It is broken, you know. I'm in legit pain over here. Smash it back into place. Oh my gosh, Pinky. Oh, you were here for that one. <laughs> so what exactly is the plan, Twilight? <sighs> well, I'd like to get a good look at them first. Ever since Spike had his uh rapid aging problem. Oh yeah. I'm determined to read everything Spike I could on dragons. It really is a travesty how little ponies know about them. And and there are a couple of things I can look for, like marks, that can indicate they are under a spell. Maybe they calm down and just want to talk. Yeah, well, my instinct still says Trixie. I don't <laughs> care what that pony says. Everything that comes out of her mouth is a lie. Well, we'll know soon enough. We're here. <sighs> they got out, didn't they? Whoa. Wait, what the fuck? Well, it looks like they definitely got out. But that's just it. No. None of these rocks have been moved since we left. That big one there is still blocking the entrance. Are you sure, Applejack? What the piss happened? Rocks do tend to look similar. Perhaps they only need to move them ever so slightly. No. When Zakor and I blocked this cave, we made sure there was no getting out without some kind of help. If the darn beasts would have just calmed down to have a proper conversation, we could have all been spared that fiasco. Well, first things first. Let's figure out how they got out. How about also making sure the core is okay? Do, knock these out of the way and look inside. She's supposed to guard this. They're, what if they're still oh, in there? Help here, Trixie. <sighs> fine. Not ah, fine. <laughs> Fucking do it. They're still in there, aren't they? Land Sykes! They really are gone. What? Then there was Gilda. She's a griffin. Plus all those Pinky. other dragons. Manticore. Oh yeah, there was a Manticore. Oh wait, there's. How did you know that? A Manticore. No, Manticore. Oh hi. <laughs> and Johnny. I'll hold him off. You ponies, get out of here. Do it. But you don't have it's Applejack. Fluttershy you don't have your normal you strength. Because you're in Fluttershy's body. That's it. No offense, darling, but I don't think. Yeah, call the Manticore. This time. It wants to eat us. Got another thing is, Paul. No, she's right. Fluttershy stare. It worked on the critters back at her cottage. Oh, that. It'll work on him if we could just get... Spike, get Fluttershy. I'm on it. Well, it looks like that flight training paid I off. I hate you. <laughs> she's like, I hate you. <laughs> Hello? Zakora? Angel Bunny? I'm back. Is that Fluttershy? Oh, hey, of course, okay. Good. It is surely good to see you, my dear. Where is Angel Bunny? Follow me, and you shall see. Is he drunk on potion? Cages? What the fuck? Decora, why are all the animals in cages? I fear much has changed since you last departed. Without these cages, they all would have darted. Angel? Angel? Oh, you're mad at me, aren't you? I've never been away this long before. Won't you come out? Sikora. I've never seen him so upset before. He looks so scared. What you the think heck has been going I on? Like Applejack? I do not think your appearance is to blame. None of the animals are acting the same. What do you mean? Whenever I try to let them free, all of them panic and flee. And your dear little angel friend would have vanished if he had not been pinned. Hmm. But that's impossible. Angel has never tried to run away before. Things are indeed looking quite bleak. For now, the cows cannot even speak. What do we do? What the piss is going there on? There is one more thing I think you should try. Perhaps giving them a stare would help them flutter shy. Wait, what? What? But the stare is only used in extreme circumstances. I already feel You're gonna scare the ones that are already before. scared. If my suspicions are correct, then your stare would leave no effect. Are you saying it won't work now because they're 
so different? It would not surprise me to learn that this same anomaly caused the dragons to be so stern. Whatever has caused this calamity could be linked to the forest catastrophe. All right, hmm. if you say so. <laughs> it, it didn't work, just like you said. Oh, Zikora, this is just dreadful. My poor little animals. Oh, shit, hey. Good job. Fluttershy. Spike, what's wrong? Forest. Dragons missing. Manticore attack. A manticore attack? Are the others okay? Nope. They're trapped by the cave where the dragons used to be. We need you, Fluttershy. You can Sakura talk hasn't, doesn't seem that surprised about the dragons stare, being missing. Something. The stair? But Spike, it won't work. None of the animals respond to it anymore. Let us see what we can do. Quickly now, Spike. We will both follow you. Strange that things are happening, like, not just, like, random shenanigans around the town, but apparently all the animals are, like, being affected, too. Get away, you know, aside from the fact boat. that the ponies themselves are animals. <laughs> nice! Over here! Hurry! Oh, hey. Tree hugger, not the time. If we die, on words. I will kill you. <laughs> yeah, good luck trying to kill Twilight. Even when she's in tricks in your body, I think she's still, you know, a bit of an advantage. No, no, there's got to be a way out. Nope. Do something. Why don't you try to hoof it? Yeah, kinda. It kinda makes sense. I ain't going down without a fight. Damn straight! I'm right there with you, AJ. The fuck? Nice. The ponies go. I'll hold them off. Come on. My buddy Spike. Up here, every pony. Yeah, I would say, you know, to Trixie to fly, but she does have the burger wings, so she kind of can't. Interesting. We can't both make it up there. I'll find another way around. No, Applejack, I can stay. I've got magic to protect me. You don't have very much of it. But you don't know how to fly. Uh, guys, you've got much bigger problems to worry about right now. Yeah, one big problem. We're a spike. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. Applejack, do something. Well, she... Fluttershy, your stair! Use your stair! It won't work. I can't! It won't work! What do you mean it won't work? Just try! I'm trying! Oh, hey, you're finally being useful. <laughs> <laughs> she just performed an age spell? Since when can you do age spells without some kind of amulet? I just told the magic to do something. I had no idea it ended up being an age spell. How did you even learn to do that, Twilight? You couldn't do it when I was last in Ponyville. Twilight! Twilight! It's called training. Mike, what happened? Are you hurt? Nah, it just knocked me into a tree. <laughs> and I bumped my head. I guess I must have blacked out for a moment. Spiky, nice to know that Trixie finally did something helpful. You, you saved my life. Fuck that. Well, I, I needed protection. Don't go you thanking friends, her. And you wouldn't be very protective if one of you was eaten. I mean, the rest of you would be all mopey and stuff. Now, uh, I think you did it because you care. Okay. What, me? Care? Please. Hey. Wait a minute. I think this means you ponies owe me for saving your lives. Ah! No. Huh. It hardly makes up for all the damage you've caused. Nice try. Ugh, whatever. You still haven't answered my question, Twilight. How did your magic perform an age spell? Well, I have been practicing for a long time. Oh, wait. I know what it is. I'm an alicorn. I must have more power than I thought. Oh, yeah? Well, what if 
It was all a hoax, and Trixie conjured the manicure only to pretend to save us from it. Now, let's not jump to conclusions, I mean, it is possible, oh, but I don't think it's what happened. No, it's nothing. I'm fine. Uh, uh. Let me take a look at that friend. This might be a wound that I can mend. You don't have Quickly, as much endurance as your her normal body does. Place. I'll treat her right away, just in case. Another song? Don't worry, Applejack. We got ya. Thanks, girls. Ugh. Are you sure you can make it? I can do it. With your help, of course. I'm so sorry, Applejack. Just, I never meant just as a heads up like to Magpie, um... This part here, I I don't actually agree with this section here because the music is actually just as loud, if not louder, than some of the words. The music itself should should be lowered in volume. It still kills me that Applejack in Fluttershy's body still wears the hat. <laughs> Give Applejack some medical treatment. <laughs> boing, 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 magpie pony, boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Faces pitch and sound editor and vocal coach. He was also the shadow. Okay. Hmm. Unfortunately, uh... Their whole plan to deal with the shadow creature didn't actually get to take off because after the distraction was done, Luna got that cheap shot in at, at the eye, and then the, their plan fell apart because he's just like, okay, fine, I'm just gonna essentially like eat you. <laughs> so, not entirely sure what's gonna be going on there, but I still stand by my uh, assumption that he, in this universe, is what was responsible for making Nightmare Moon, Nightmare Moon. But, I feel like the regular Nightmare Moon, uh, Luna was still the, was the main host. But, I got a feeling that, in this case, he's gonna take the Nightmare Moon-like form. But I think, in this case, he's gonna be the main host. So, we might actually get a different appearance out of him, too. Like, it may be- it may look like Nightmare Moon, but like, a different color or something. That's why I think it's gonna be happening. But, I don't think we're gonna know yet. We might know next episode. Not sure. Right there. That's an awesome kick right there. The only one that beat that one was that. <laughs> or it, or Spike's like, <laughs> Look at Twilight's face, but she could like lift it up there. She's like, what the freak's going on? So yeah, something has been causing a bunch of problems in Ponyville, aside from like the animals and stuff, but like, we're not going to be able to figure it all out quite yet. But essentially, shit has hit the fan, and uh, it's not looking too good. I swear, oh, hey. if you've been setting me up, I'm gonna... Setting who up? What are you talking about? The pony who really started all this mess. Estelle. Estelle? Uh, Estelle? But... Wait, is that supposed to be the name of, like, the shadow thing? 
Because Estelle's... Well, I've only ever heard the name Estelle before one time, and that was in Tales of Vesperia. And in that case, Estelle, which is, you know, started with an E, uh, was a female. But this Estelle is apparently male, I guess? And Trixie knows about it somehow. So, maybe my theory about, you know, what I said earlier, maybe it's actually more accurate than I thought. Huh. Yeah, she might want to, you know, delve into that kind of thing to the group a little bit more so everyone's on the same page. So that way there's, you know, not as... There doesn't need to be any more surprises. Like, the group's kind of been through enough. We kind of just lost Princess Luna. So, yeah. And, of course, Celestia can't do anything because she's not in uh, the area right now. She's, like, out doing stuff. So, Ugh. Just, wow. Uh, I still don't like Trixie in this universe. I mean, she's better, I guess, in the, you know, canon show. But in this, she's still really frustrating. Because in this, uh, she's still kind of a, a bleep, you know, fill in the blank. I know some people, for some reason, want to say that she's not one. But she is one in this, okay? There is no denying it. She is definitely not a good pony in this. Okay? Stealing body, stealing the body of someone else, it does not make you a good character. Like, you're not a good-hearted character. Okay? No. It just doesn't work that way. And obviously, she never really planned her rollout as princess because she's, like, not able to deal with any of, you know, the other ponies. Uh, like, basically, she's not capable of responsibilities like at all <laughs> so she kind of went with her plan or whatever like half-baked or something it's weird <sighs> i got a feeling that gem thing that they're looking for is already gone though but i don't remember what the gem looked like i can't remember like what color it was if it was red green whatever because it, it it was a several episodes ago, and at this point it's been many months since I've seen that episode. But I did notice that the shadow thing had something on him. Like, obviously his eyes were red, sure, but he had something else, like, on him that was also red. I'm not certain. I mean, it's possible it could be the gem from Twilight's Place, and, like, he had already gotten it after they had left. Maybe. Because, you know... The stuff that's been going on in Ponyville, shit's been going wrong there for quite some time, apparently. So maybe after they left, he went, got the gem, caused some kind of trouble, and then came back to Carolot and awaited Luna. I don't know. But, unfortunately, we're not going to really know any more information until we take a look at the next episode, which won't be for a little bit, but... We're almost caught up, because there was, there's only nine episodes released so far, and um, next episode's going to be number eight, so we're getting there. We're getting there. So, um, oh gosh, just... Mm. Trixie's just so annoying. <laughs> ah. And of course she had to be like... I, th I just saved your life, so I think you guys owe me now. It's like, no they don't. <laughs> No, they don't owe you jack shit. Not with all the crap that you've been doing. But anyways, I guess in terms of this this whole thing, the series is, is definitely a lot better than how when it first started. But that should be kind of self-explanatory by this point. But still, I'm not a big fan of songs. Like, I'm not I don't really care for musicals and stuff. But the reason why I'm watching this is because I want to know the story. So, there's that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. In, like, one, in, like, the last episode or two, there was a couple songs there that, you know, actually made sense for it to be there. And they actually sounded nice. 
But unfortunately, I couldn't really get behind either of the, any of the songs that was in this episode. I don't know, I just... None of them really worked for me, but that's that's just my taste on music, I guess. But anywho, uh, regarding this episode, I think that is going to be it for my take this episode, everybody. And uh, until episode 8 comes around, this is Broadmaster44 saying, see you guys later.